John here, and today I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do a little reroute and a little chat. Um, cause yeah, it has been a while since I've um made a video, and I just I don't know what to talk about, and it's very awkward to see my own face and to have to edit videos with my own face, and then I have to like upload it somewhere. So yeah. Uh, I've also realized with the end of 2019 coming, it's been about 15 years since I've started doll collecting properly, like, I, I consider age 12 to be when I started seriously doll collecting, cause, you know, when, cause like, I guess like, when age 12, that's like when internet really became a thing for me, before then it was just like, eh, yeah. but then like, when I turned 12, that was when I started meeting people, and and in that time, the community has changed a lot. Like, and it's just like now that I've gotten a bit older, a bit a bit wiser, a bit more dolls. I just I just wanted to kind of reflect about that, I guess, when I'm rereading. <laughs> and the thing is that um, yeah, it's just. When, when I first started at 12, there's just, there were so many things I wish I could have done, so many people I wish I could have talked to more. I guess, right now, I'm just kind of crazy. <laughs> because, because I guess right now, I'm the most popular I've ever been <laughs> with my dolls, I guess, because if you look at my Instagram right now, it is in the thousands in like the tens of thousands, well, 16 is a 10, I guess, but yeah, it's like, I guess now it's like one of the biggest like platforms I've ever had in my 15 years of doll collecting, and it's pretty strange to navigate because like, like I guess part of it is that like people assume that I guess they just assume things about me, which I just, <laughs> I don't really know what to say to that. <laughs> and it's just, and I guess being a very big introvert with a lot of mental issues, it's just, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just find it really, really fucking weird. <laughs> but... 15 years, and I guess, I guess being in the community for such a long time at my age, I'm in a weird, I'm in a weird spot with that, just because, just because people in my age group, they didn't get into this hobby until at least the Monster High era, which was 2010 at most, and at that point, I was already in, I was already in the community for like five years, so... And so I've witnessed a lot of weird stuff happen in that, in like the doll community in general. Like the 2000s was such a weird time to navigate, especially if you're just on the internet. But you know, you still had that old timey kind of <laughs> approach to things. Like I guess, and I guess it's just like it's really weird because my taste and my aesthetic is very much from before Monster High, where it's just more of, like, collectible, more in proportional stuff, and, like, and it is really weird, <laughs> like, because even though I have the same kind of taste as other millennials and stuff, it's just, like, I don't have a large Disney doll collection, I don't have a large Monster High collection, and right now, I'm just, even now, I'm just working on a she like custom. <laughs> So, yeah, but the thing is, is that, like, I, the one thing I have noticed is that, like, people tend to treat this more as a competition than a community sometimes, and, and it's really weird because I think when people say, like, oh, have you seen this YouTuber, oh, have you seen this Instagram person, oh, they did something much better than you did, rah, rah, it's just kind of like, well, I don't have an opinion on that, just because, you know, I'm just here doing my own thing, and 
it's really weird to deal with those preconceptions. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just... It's really weird to think that people in their 20s now are into doll customizing, and I do attribute that to YouTube videos, to, you know, people... People being curious about, exp like, you know, about this kind of work, but... I don't know, for me... For me, it's just it's always been something I've really enjoyed, not just because I'm an introvert, and... The internet has always been kind of my only kind of social circle, I guess, even, like, back when I was a little baby. <sighs> and yeah. I just don't know what to do about my Instagram thing. It's just like, I feel like I should be doing something with it, like, I should... But, <laughs> I'm still approaching it the same way I have been for the last three years that I've been on Instagram, which is just... I post what I can, and and I just like try to interact with the people that you know that I <laughs> that I've been interacting with for like the past ten years, nine maybe. Yeah, it's just been it's just it's been really hard for me to kind of navigate like the new doll community, I guess, because because the old one is basically. <laughs> gone with the forums and stuff, you know? It's just... And with this whole new YouTube, like, rules and stuff, like, what's that gonna happen to our community? Like, I really don't know. Like, nothing's gonna happen to this channel, because I do not, you know, <laughs> post anything on it, and I don't make money off it. I don't even make money off, like, doll junk. Like, like I only get it from, like, really nice friends who donate to my coffee, but... Yeah. <laughs> And I do find it interesting that, that, like, yeah, I just, I really feel like right now, with the kind of knowledge I have, how long I've been here, it's just, I feel like I should try to be more into the community, try to, like, try to set up more of a dialogue, try to set up more resources, but it's just, just I don't know, I don't know what to do. So, I just lost a whole bunch of footage, so I'm very, very annoyed. But, you didn't really miss out much. I was just rambling about how I'm getting old, but I also feel young, and rada rada. And also, I kept getting sidetracked by my reroute. But, you know, if there's one thing I completed tonight, it's at least this one, so... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I should film a little outro, you know, it's like... If you want to see more, I guess subscribe, but you're more likely to get more content through my Instagram, so check that out, and yeah, see you around. <laughs>